How you doing guys? This is right here is a 1988 Rider. OMC, I believe it's a 2.3 liter. Um, I had an issue with no spark um, on the engine. So, um, show you how it works, pretty much. What I have here is a starter. This is my positive going from the battery into my solenoid on the starter. So this is my ignition right here. And when I turn the key, uh, you can see it right there on, on the other side, there's another lead. And that's the wire that's traveling up to my coil. Now there's a positive and then a negative on the coil. Um, this right here are the ground wires that go to the block and to the relays over there um, on the side. So what I was happening is I had no spark. Um, so I replaced the coil as you can see a brand new coil. Um, when I troubleshoot the coil um, I still had no spark. So I decided to troubleshoot the good coil never know it might get a defective part. So the way you do this is take your grounds off uh no sorry leave your grounds on take your ground that's going to your distributor off of it if you have it and then put a piece of wire on this um, so what you do is you just take this wire it's going to your distributor the spark you hold it up like this just just a hair away from your ground and when you take your piece of crappy wire you tie it to this negative over here and then you rub it against the ground which would be right here or anywhere in the engine good ground this should spark when you rub it when you rub it it should spark it means you have a good coil you're grounding it off on mine that's how it started so you know cool coil was good so I continue on and it happens to be that I had to take a distributor cap off and I replaced my condenser. Uh, there's a few ways to test the condenser but um, I don't really have time for a customer. Um, so um, I replaced this condenser, bought an app, I think it's $8 and I re also replaced my points over here. My points. Uh, it doesn't hurt, so my condenser was $8, this was the points were $12. Um, and now I have sparks, so all I have to do is put it back together and go from there. So if you don't have, if you replace your coil and you still don't have the spark, replace the condenser. This bulb has been sitting for three years, so anything can go wrong. The starter went wrong, I had two quarts of water in my pan still have the good compression i replaced the plugs on it um rebuilt the carburetor i mean common sense stuff to prevent it from i also installed my water separator fuel water separator just nice it's always good to have it on the boat um but yeah um if you replace your coil you still don't have spark and then you tested it you have spark going to your distributor which that's that's the cap for um then replace the condenser and that should fix your issue thank you